guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Help! I need somebody. Help! Not just anybody. Help! You know I need someone. Help! That took long enough. Ready? When I was younger, so much younger than today, I never needed anybody's help in any way. But now those days are gone, I'm not so self-assured. Now I find I've changed my mind, I've opened up the doors. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate you being around. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you please, please help me, help me. Yeah, I thought you would do better on that song, Effingham. Hey, everybody, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Okay, so I'm on a Beatles kick. Did I already sing that one? Here's the problem. I didn't do a list. Should have done a list. If I'd done a list. I could go back and listen to all my videos. I don't want to do that either. Okay, so if I've already sung it, you just heard it again. I mean, it is a Beatles song. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to move on from the Beatles. Cause, uh, yeah, because I, I can't, I really can't, don't know which songs I've sung and not. Have I done I Want to Hold Your Hand yet? I, I don't even know. Yeah. Have I done Lucy in the Sky? I don't think I've done that one. Okay, let's move along. Hey, guys, welcome to Holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. Okay, today is Shopping Saturday. Effingham, tell them what this, this channel is all about. What? <laughs> Dollar Tree, that is correct. This is a Dollar Tree channel. Like, that's all I do. So, Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree crafts, Dollar Tree food tastings, everything Dollar Tree. And today is Dollar Tree haul. It's shopping Saturday. Okay, so, and I'm really trying to grow my channel. So, my goal is 10,000 by the end of the year. A lofty goal. But, who knows? We're growing pretty rapidly right now, which is very nice. Okay, the subtotal on this one was 66.25. So, approximately 60-ish items, right? Um, so let's dive right into what I got. Some things I got multiples of. I have some fun new stuff. I have some repeat stuff. It's a normal haul, right? And um, just a couple of items that I was like, those are, yeah. Okay, so let's say we're going to start right with food. By the way, please consider sticking around this channel and subscribing if you haven't. And go back and check out some of my craft videos. My crafts have just been a, on fire since I retired. Almost a poet. And um, so I'm pretty proud because I think it's just because I have the time to be creative now. So, um, and if you haven't checked out one of our foodie fun days, my husband Marcus joins me on those. They're really cool. Okay, what do I buy in the grocery aisles at the Dollar Tree? Oh my gosh, I need to buy eyeglass cleaner apparently because, ooh, they're fogged up right now. Okay, um, so I buy this. I buy the almond plant-based beverage. Now notice it doesn't say almond milk. I think there might be a difference. Doesn't matter. We we use this like milk because we're vegan, um, and it's pretty inexpensive. Actually, I gotta be honest. This is really what I use for our protein shakes in the morning. I do tend to buy like um, more expensive um, almond milks, oat milks, and stuff like that at the grocery store. But this is so perfect for the um, for the protein shakes. But also, it's like a great in your shelf backup milk because it's shelf stable. So like this, for instance, is good until November of 24. And once you open it, you have to consume it within seven days, I think it is, oh, 14 days. So anyway, there you go. That's a rebuy, because that's one of my staples that I buy. Okay, so let's see. This is a rebuy. Wait, what? This is the pink sauce. This is as seen on TikTok and Instagram. Wow, okay. Not as seen on TV. Isn't that funny? Wow, how life changes. It used to be as seen on TV. Now it's as seen on TikTok and Instagram, but apparently not on Snapchat. All right, so this is pink sauce. So good. But I went to a Dollar Tree that this Dollar Tree is a ways away from me because it's in Phoenix. It's a Phoenix Dollar Tree. 
And, um, but I was looking for this Dollar Tree that I went to years ago and, and anyway, whatever. I was heading out a little bit further to see if I could find a new Dollar Tree I liked really well. But as it turns out, I actually been to this Dollar Tree once before in the middle of night, not in the middle of night, but at night after the airport. So it's not in a wonderful area, which I've talked about this before. That's probably why the pink sauce there was like, who wants pink sauce? So here's the thing though, I'm checking out and the girl goes, is that stuff good? And I go, yeah, it's really good. She goes, cause they sell it at world market for like eight bucks a bottle. <sighs> I was like buck 25, I bought eight of them. And then I came home and I made him a salad right away with it. A macaroni salad at two die for. So it's not going to be out there forever. So if I see it, I will be buying it. And this is good. These bottles right here are good until I want to say it was July of, um, December of 24. Okay, so December. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll use them by them for sure. Okay, moving right along. Hanover, Snyder's of Hanover. I bought some of these last week, and Marcus was like, those are only about 25. I bought the little square ones, and I go, yeah. Technically, these aren't what we would consider vegan. They're not listed as a vegan item, but really, there isn't anything in here. Um, it's probably made at a place that, that because I don't know why it wouldn't be, but it doesn't matter. Um, these, I didn't buy the butter squares because of course those had butter and I was like, why did I, I shouldn't buy those again. But then I found these. So for a nine ounce bag, I think a buck 25 is pretty decent. And then these sourdough niblets, we dip them in hummus. We dip everything in hummus. Let's be honest. Hummus is our go-to. It's like, it's like the junk food for vegans. It's like, it's so good. You know, I mean, it's like, yeah. I don't know if you would like hummus. It's like chickpeas. Well, I know you're a vegetarian as well. Yeah, you don't even eat, but okay, it's in his head. Um, let's see. I bought more of the Italian cut green beans. Bought two of these. This is such a good buy. By first harvest, this is like 28 ounces of green beans, and they were totally fine. I used them in a salad. So, yeah, I bought two more of those. I make him these bean and veggie salads. They're just really good. Um, last one was a mac. I made a macaroni salad with all these veggies and stuff, and it used the pink sauce. And so I buy a lot of beans and veggies because when you're vegan, it's getting that protein in there that's super important. So we buy a lot of beans. Hence, the small red beans, the frijoles rojos pequenos, pequenos. Yeah. So by Go Goya, um, this isn't a fabulous buy. But it's convenient buy. I was there. I needed them. So, okay, I'll grab those. And I think I only grabbed one of those. Now, I've got a couple of repeat buys that you just don't see there all the time. The pitted ripe olives for $1.25. That is a good buy. That's a really good buy. Go into the grocery store. They're more than that. Unless they have some. Now, I did go into the store the other day and they had this, like, the sale of the week was a can of olives like this for 99 cents. I mean, that was, like, the big get you in the store sale. So, anyway. Um, I bought three of these or four. I think I bought four of these. Then I bought these olives, which are stuffed with minced pimentos. By the way, fabulous thing to add to a food basket gift. These are very high-end looking. It's by Breckenridge Farms. And um, this is a decent buy as well. So, and then I keep the glass jars for crafting because I have a thousand glass jars. I'm going to try and do my bow tutorial next week. Um, I mentioned it in a video, so I'm going to try and do that next week. And then after the bow tutorial, I really forgot to do a jar, some jar crafting, because I have so many jars. Okay, then um, these are the fresh cut diced new potatoes. This is a decent buy. I bought four of these. They're not always there. This is Del Monte. And, um, and this is, these are vegan, obviously. But it's just so easy for breakfast potatoes and stuff like that. Um, or to throw into a soup. These are excellent to throw into a soup, FYI. Okay, then this is the tempanade, and the tempanade is the, all this stuff was so good, it was out at Christmas. I don't know why this store had, well, because they also had this. See, it is, it is depending on location of the stores, you know, tempanade just isn't, uh, is not a well-known food, okay? So it won't get picked up in certain areas. Um, so anyway, I, they, I found one. There may have been more and I just didn't see them. I found one, but I grabbed it. I love that stuff. It's so good. Then we'll mix it with hummus. <laughs> and then it's really good. Okay. And then this was like, a, I was like, what? Red gold, family owned, made in the USA, sloppy Joe original sauce. But guess what it says on the back? <laughs> I was like, I gotta get it. Just a, I think I got five cans of this. Why? We don't do hamburger. 
So I really want to taste it and try it without any hamburger in it, but you can buy um, tofu and put it in there. You can buy faux um, hamburger meat, which is actually really good. This vegan meat they make from beans. Um, so, but I'm going to try it just on its own. I should put it into our foodie fun day basket. I think I will. I'll put it in there. I'll try that. And then this is a rebuy, which I was like, what? They're back. How is this even possible? And that would be the Starbucks triple shot energy drinks. This, you guys, is a steal. This should be, I hope this is my thumbnail. Like what? Starbucks? I just spit on myself. Starbucks? I didn't have to stop on my way. I could just go into Dollar Tree and get it. Yeah, Starbucks. So it's just like really, really. And I know, what, Effingham, I know, I know, I know. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a very good buy because normally these would be, I don't know, five, six bucks. Okay, so, and this is 15 fluid ounces. So this is like their, what's their Vente? Is that their large one, I think? Okay, whatever. 210 calories in a can, so I'm not thrilled with that. But I use them to enhance our morning coffees. So we're not getting that many calories. It's, just a, it's an extra shot of caffeine in the morning coffee to wake us, awake, wake us up. And it has guarana, B vitamins, and ginseng in them. These are good. These are good until July of 24. Now, the last time I bought these, I bought them and I used them as part of my Valentine's gift, gift that I gave to friends and family and stuff. And they had the espresso beans. If you have not found the espresso beans, they're the chocolate covered espresso beans. They're to die for. And they were in a pink package. And so I bought these to package with that. But then when I got them home, was it the vanilla one? I think it was only good until December and it was like December and these were good until, the other ones were good until like March or something. So I ended up using these. But this is, why, why do I ramble? Today is a rambling day. Na na na, I'm a rambling man. What's that song? I have to look that one up. I'm always rambling, that's not true. I talk to Effingham when I'm home alone with him. Okay, so if you guys can find these, this is such a great buy. Again, also a fabulous gift. Grab six of these, put them into a basket with some of those espresso beans or just buy one and do a cute little tie of a Starbucks gift tag to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, gift card, you know, whatever. Okay, let's keep going. So um, this is, I have recently, I've started putting my kitchen together. Can you see that right there? Wait, do you guys want to see my, my oven charm? Okay, hold on. In my last video, my last craft video, I made this. It's an oven charm. Have you ever heard of that before? No, because I made it up. It's an oven charm, which I think is really cute. So I'm going total farmhouse in my kitchen. It used to be really colorful and full of pottery, and we got rid of everything, and I'm going to go farmhouse. Um, but these are the 100% cotton towels, which I talked about on a video yesterday. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Um, they're not there all the time, so they're the flour sack towels. I love to use these in the kitchen. I feel like it's way more farmhouse too, so I found this one, so I bought it because I'm any new design I'll buy. There's always time for friends, wine, and coffee. This was also make an excellent gift in a gift basket with, ooh, friends, wine, and coffee. <laughs> you could get chocolate wine to go with the chocolate, the mocha Starbucks. I don't know. Okay, now I'm just going overboard. Anyway, do you guys love my stove charm? See, and it just hangs on my stove like a little decorative charm. By the way, that was a shower curtain ring that I put that on there with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. These are out again. And since we're vegan, I was like, well, got to grab those. I didn't keep any here. I put them in the camper. Anyway, so I was like, oh, there they are again. Grabbing those. So this is the reusable veggie bags. And there's... um. Four 11 by 14 bags and one 6.75 by 6.75. So there's five bags in here, five pack. But we're buying so many veggies. I'm like, yeah, need those. So, and it gives them circulation and whatnot. It's supposed to help them last longer. We'll see. Okay. I bought this last week, two weeks ago. I told you guys about it. Keep an eye out. They're all over right now. They smell so good. I told you Marcus said my car smelled like an old lady. Thank you. God, it did. It's lavender and it smells so good in your car, you guys. And these bags are so dang cute for crafting afterwards. Like, I can't wait to craft with them afterwards. Yeah. All right. Um, how about some antibacterial hand wipes? This is for our travel car. Um, the one that we take long distance when we go to the property and whatnot. So just have in there um, for washing your hands and everything while traveling. That's all this is for. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is an item I do not believe I've purchased this before. I'm not even sure I've seen it there before, but it's distributed by Rejoice, which of course is a company that I don't know if it's owned by Dollar Tree, but it does a lot of puts a lot of stuff in there. All of the prayer cards, the notepads, there's so many things that say Rejoice, distributed by Rejoice. So this is dishwasher cleaner, septic safe. That was important. We're on septic here. And um, it cleans and deodorizes. This is lemon scent. Let's just open it up so you guys can see what they look like. Oh, oh, it's just a little packet. There is inside of here, it, it feels like it's a great big, huge, smarty candy. It's probably what it is. Do you want me to open it? Yeah, let's open it. I'll show you. I can put it in a, in a, in a snack bag until I use it. Um, maximizes machine's performance. Okay, well, this is, no, never mind, I'm not opening it. Anyway, it's a tablet in there. Um, and so I'm assuming you just dump it in, place one tablet in the bottom of your dishwasher. Detergent should be placed in the main detergent tray. Oh, there's without dishes and with dishes. I would do it without dishes, I think. Okay, so anyway, I'll put that on my schedules, you know, like once every 30 days. It doesn't say how often to do it, but use monthly or as needed to maximize machine performance. So I'll give that a try. You know, now that I'm home and retired and I have time to like schedule things that should be done in the house. Like last week I pulled the drawer, the bottom drawer out under the stove. Oh, I almost threw up. It's just one of those areas, you know, you have to clean it every couple months or so. It had probably been a year or more and it was just gross under there. So now like I'm like scheduling, I'm writing these things on a calendar. So this is what I did that day. So then I'll know three months. Okay, whatever. Get me through all that. <laughs> Enough. All right. This is a square base. Yeah, that's all it is. Just a square base. I'm not a square. Stop it. Evingham, I am not a square. But if you watched my haul just yesterday, because I did a Freaky Friday haul, I purchased some, I think it was yesterday, these stickers. They were square stickers and they had texture to them and they had some iridescence. And I was like, really want to put them on something and boho them. This is exactly what I will probably put them on. So just put some on here. I'll paint them black first and then put them on and then do a little rubbing off to bring out the texture or like almost wax, wax it for texture. And I just think it'll look really boho on this vase. Okay, that's an idea and I will probably do that. All right, I have like three things left to show you. Um, first of all, I have never seen these before, but they are the, um, they're the burlap leaves. And look at this, see up there, it says birch and vine. That's new. This is distributed by Greenbrier. So I'm thinking birch and vine where value and style meet is maybe gonna be one of their product lines. Like the, what is it? The farmer's market now or something like that. And then we have the ocean one and the, you know, they come up with stuff like that. So this one, the birch and vine, I think we might see. Anyway, I've gotten the burlap flowers, but not the burlap leaves. It's like, oh, I need those. I just got one package. And then I grabbed this. So this is, I do not need stickers. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to sit down and go through all my stickers and reorganize them. But I had to get this one, mostly for this one sticker right here, which looks like a tag. I absolutely love it. But I like shabby chic, and I would like to do a few more shabby chic pieces. And so it's sort of like shadow box shabby chics. So that's why I grabbed this. And I'm like, um, as soon as we get to our bedroom. We still have to pull the carpet out and put the floor down in our bedroom. But then I will probably redo my bedroom this is somewhat shabby chic and I'll make some pieces. So I grabbed that. I mean, honestly, you guys, this is all I got for crafts. Well, I guess this, that's it. Because I'm trying to use my stash. And also, I just didn't find anything that was really new and like, yeah, I didn't find anything new actually. Okay, so I have two things left. So one is this. I hauled the bucket a couple days ago. And I was like, why didn't I buy more buckets for our 50, 60s party that we're having in June? I don't know, because I wasn't thinking. Now I'm gonna look at it. And then I'm like, why didn't I haul? I got these on the same day, two different stores, right? I'm like, hmm, so I'm gonna be looking for these. I would like to haul a bunch to use for their plastic so they can be used by the pool. And we're gonna do like a soda fountain-ish thing for like the 50s part of it. Is this not perfect? Yes, it is. So I need to find more of those. 
But this is my favorite find. Now this is new and I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I had to get it. And um, I think I'm gonna send it off to Scarlet, so I'm not gonna open it up. But this is just too funny. It's by Sashi and Chic and it's Lashaholic. I was like, come on. Uh, you could use some eyelashes. You are correct, Effingham. I know, I should get you some colorful ones. Okay, all right, I'll keep an eye out. So if you can see the package there, there's like a mirror and then there's all these little wavy areas that they put the lashes in. Lashaholic, which there's so many of us Lashaholics these days. Hold three pairs of false eyelashes. Compact and portable. I just had to. I thought it was so cute. So anyway, they'll go in the little bucket that I have for stuff for Scarlet. Okay, that's it. That's my haul. I would honestly say probably the big one of the bigger finds this week was finding these back out. So keep an eye out. Those are such a good buy. I absolutely love Lashaholic and the Coca-Cola stuff that's coming out. I think is super cool as well. All right. So nothing extra extraordinary, extraordinarily amazing, but fun little haul. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys listen to me on the stuff that I talk about in the grocery aisle because there are some amazing buys there and you should keep your eyes peeled to that area. I just got lipstick on me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always from your singing crafty crafter, help, I need somebody, help. Not just anybody, help. I can't find my way to my dollar tree. <laughs> anyway, you guys, from your singing craft to crafter, did I already say have a great day, great week, a great life? Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. I'll see you back here on Monday for the challenge. And everybody, have a happy, happy Easter. And remember the reason for the season. I know we say that at Christmas, but we should say it at Easter as well. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Blessings. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.